Hello dear friends, do all beings see their environments through the same colors? Is the red color of a strawberry same for everyone? Is the red I see and the red you see the same? Scientists research this question and are telling us this. The moment light reflects from a surface onto our eyes, it takes a unique and personalized form. The color rays that reflect onto our eyes, then to our brain and inner self or soul becomes a unique sensation. Although colors have a general effect on people, their personal or unique effects are much more. For example, we know that red makes us hungry and yellow color pages don't strain the eyes as much as normal paper. However, colors don't affect everyone the same way. A color may be a person's favorite while someone else hates it. In other words, Colors may have different effects on us according to how we perceive them. I researched a bit about how we perceive colors and I want to share my results with you, dear friends. Our eyes are equipped with special cells called rods and cones that detect light. Rods are more sensitive to light than cones and they allow us to see in low light. However, they can't detect color. Cones on the other hand, allow us to see color in well-lit places. Objects around us absorb some of the light that falls onto them and reflect the rest. The amount of light absorbed and reflected are different between a surface and the other. These differences form colors. For example, if an object reflects all the wavelengths within the visible spectrum equally, that object appears white. On the other hand, if an object absorbs all the light within visible wavelengths, we see that object as black, because objects are black as a result of absorbing all visible light. Black isn't actually a color, it is the lack of color. I have said that colors have general effects on people as well as individual effects. I'm planning to talk about this topic in the future, but I want to talk about a few interesting points now. Dear friends, red has the largest wavelength within the spectrum of visible light. It is generally related to control and power. It's known as the color of restrictions and punishments. It is also the color of attention-grabbing clouds. Light in the blue wavelength stops us from producing melatonin during the day. Melatonin is a hormone that controls our sleep cycles. Blue light stops our body from producing melatonin and makes it harder for us to fall asleep. It is also important to know that the light produced by devices like phones and tablets are blue color. There are three types of cone cells in our body that detect blue, green, and red lights. When light is reflected from an object to our eyes, the cone cells send signals to the visual cortex in our brain. Our brain associates these signals with colors. Although we only have three types of cone cells, the different wavelengths they send to our brain are processed so that we can differentiate between millions of different colors. Compared to humans, other beings perceive colors differently. According to scientists' findings, birds' four main colors are ultraviolet, blue, green, and red. Dogs, on the other hand, only have two types of cone cells. This is why they can only see in shades of yellow and blue. Before I knew this, I thought that dogs weaved the world as black and white. I want to explain how we perceive colors a bit. We have to understand this about colors. The term color is not something that is found in the physical world. For example, gravity is a phenomenon that exists regardless. Color perception, on the other hand, only finds meaning in our consciousness. How can we be sure that we see the same yellow when we look at a flower? While something appears yellow to us, another person may see it in a manner that would appear to us as a green. The real yellow for us may be the real blue for someone else. But because we all confine to the language that are taught to us, we give the same names to colors. This is not about what color we see. Actually, we may all be seeing different colors altogether. Names we give them are just symbols. The perception of objects and colors may be different in everyone. This phenomenon is called qualia. 
to finalize the effects of the colors in universe lead us to specially designed masterpiece that is our work. Shortly, light's ability to be reflected and matter's ability to reflect are put together and the same subsequent rays of light that come to our eyes are sent to the visual cortex in our brain and gets processed. With that, our soul meets the wonderful world of colors. These colors that create different perceptions in everyone lead us our colorful universe. Dear friends, please subscribe to our channel and goodbye.